Ayan, good morning everyone. Happy Monday po sa inyo. It was a very busy weekend dito sa Cebu last ano, last Saturday, Sunday. Ayan, sinulog kasi sa Cebu uh, yesterday and then Saturday, yun seminar dito sa Cebu it was a successful one. I'll post about it. Ayan, so good morning, good morning sa inyo. Um, welcome to the Daily Grind. Today we're going to be talking about revenge trading. What is revenge trading and how does that how does it affect your trading especially sa mga newbie you should be very aware of this um we're playing with emotions so we're gonna be talking about emotions for today and so pag-usapan natin yan if you're just watching the replay of the video kindly move forward to around 25 minutes of the video because that's where we will be uh starting our discussion that will be 8 40 here in the morning um uh, because this video is recorded live and so yeah and before we go to that um let me go to the um, comments, mga requests, greetings na mga tao, right? Um, if you have any questions, please post it on the, what do you call this? Please post it on the comments section, right? I'll be editing the comment section uh, this week para mas madali yung comments natin. Excuse me, sorry. Um, yan. Um, first up, good morning to my daughter, Laika, and to everyone. Um, Yan, unahin ko po ang mga comments ninyo. Um, good morning from Ali Quicksilver. Very good question kanina nabasa ko ito. She was asking about uh, can you bis- can you discuss a bit about PHA and the disclosure. So we'll talk uh sige, daanan natin yan. If my edge.bse that will load ayon sa PHA. Right. So yan. Um Joel Ligares, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning din si Joel. All right. So I'm just opening the company disclosures of PHA uh para ano um kati ng ilong ko gabi <laughs> para si Pacman eh All right so we'll talk about this in a while and so this is the disclosure of PSH, PHA, uh, Premier Horizons and Sama Global Investment Science Memorandum of Agreement for Funding Facility of 215 250 million euros. PHA recently entered into a MOA with Sama Global Investments for 250 million euros. That's a lot. That's a very big amount. Funding facility funds will be invested in PHA real estate, tourism, hospitali- uh, hospitability, tourism infrastructures. Kaya po, sabi ko po sa inyo. Ayan, sabi ko po sa inyo noon pa, bodega, bodega, bodega. Ayan, hopefully, when it comes back, makapasok pa kayo. Pero, this is very good. If the investors are getting in a company, that's good. Follow where the money is. Right? This is very good for PHA. Imagine, 15 billion pesos. How much can you do? And, it's targeted in Palawan po. Ayan, nakatarget yan sa Palawan. That's gonna be very big for the... um. Tourism, everything, sa lahat ng projects na PHA. Kaya po, ayan, magbodega po kayo. As much as you can, habang mura pa yan, pumasok na po kayo. Alright? Uh, I hate to say I told you so, pero ayan, um, this is one of the reasons why I told you na magbodega talaga kay PHA. Because the company is doing well lately. And it's about time the money is gonna uh, get in. Ayan na, lumabas na yung mga, um, naglalabasan na yung mga news kay PHA. So congratulations sa mga nakapagbodega kay, kay PHA. Maraming nagalit sa akin dyan. Si PHA, tulog daw. Right? Patience, my friend. Ayan. Anong gusto nyo? Mamaya na akong gumalaw. Pag gumalaw yan, hindi na kayo makakapasok. Ayan. So, while hindi pa siya gumagalaw, pumasok na kayo. Jolie Garas, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, Ella Montefalco, good morning. Al Stephen, mag-ta- magatao. Ayan, magatao. Right, sir. Sorry, let me just open my slide. Unahin ko po yung slide ko. Right, um... Asa na yun? Magatao, good morning, Bull and Bear. Good day. Uh, hi, May Villa Flor. Somehow your message got retracted. Really sorry about that. Can you post it again? RJ Abracosa, good morning. Good morning and happy Monday trading to all. Excited for ISM. This is from Monet. Ayan, nag- lumalapit na si January 31. Ayan, so si ISM, malapit na. Alam, hindi natin alam saan papunta yan. If it goes down, just buy more. Right. Definitely, kung bumagsak man yan, Marami pong sasalo dyan. Alright, so definitely still gonna go up. So just average down just in case it goes down. Just in case. Alright? Um, if not, 
then we're in a good position already kasi nakapasok na tayo. Neil Bersamin, good morning. Bernadette Abiog, good morning Sir Lloyd. Good morning to my daughter Jasmine. Hello Jasmine. Hello Bernadette. Luchi Vasquez, good morning po. Pasilip si Mer, please. Alright, silipin natin si Mer. Um, ang sagwa pakinggan eh, silipin si Mer. <laughs> so, silipin natin yan. Alright. Mer, humanda ka na. Sisilipin ka namin. Arnel Collar, morning. Jaime Villaflor, Anyong Haseo, Al Stephen Magatao. Good Sir Lloyd, sana may seminar ka rin sa Davao. Yes, we were planning one in the middle of December. I mean, December. This year, right? The middle of this year, pupunta tayo ng Davao. Right? Um, last time, nakapunta akong Davao. Davao. Tagal na yun. Dumaan lang ako eh. Nagpunta ako ng Cotabato eh. Right? So... Dinaanan ko lang ang Davao. Hindi talaga ako nakapag-tour ng Davao. So hopefully, when we come back there sa Davao, mas ma-enjoy natin ang Davao. And we're gonna be having a seminar there. Lorwin A., good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, Hops, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Inputs po sa galaw ng PSEI chart request po. Yeah, PSEI just broke out. Right? So it's still very good. Very bullish market. Right? It's consistently, yan, consistently. Mga Pinoy lang ang nagbebentahan. Pero foreign foreign are already buying. So um, mas malaki palagi ang buying ng PSEI. So that's very good for PSE. Uh, mga Pinoy, bilis mag take profits eh. <laughs> so yun. Um excuse me. Yun, ang ilong ko kasi napakakati eh. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, thanks as always. Hops right. SCC chart, SCC CLC and IRC. Let's check these out. Uh, um Aldisin Humdana. Uh, good morning sir. Patingin po ang stock picks. For today, SSI. Si SSI, lumipad na. Nirecommend ko yan last Friday. And congratulations sa mga pumasok kay SSI. These are my stock picks for today. Si SSI, tignan pa rin natin chart kung pwede pa bang pasukin. But I did recommend SSI number one pa ngayon sa recommendation ko last Friday. And lumipad na. So, it's already a missed opportunity. Baka ma ma mauntog tayo sa resistance kung habulin natin. So, konting ingat muna. Right? Wing Gloria. Good morning, sir. FNI po. Let's check out FNI. Right, um, FNI is still doing good naman. Alright, Julius Sernal, may buntag Sir Lloyd, Yuug sa tanan, diha, Viva Bit Senior, Dave Guapo Dadis, Anyo nga sa'yo Sir Lloyd, and Laika, pabati naman po sa small group of traders in Korea, Glenn Margel, Wa Wahid Aldrin, salamat po, sana lumaki yung mga traders group na dyan, um, para marami po tayo na um, makaapak naman po sa pathway towards financial freedom. Right. Joseph Cortez, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pabati ang Sai and Co. Mommy boys, right, ng Bulacan. Yeah. Why do I say that financial, I mean, um, stock market is is the road to financial freedom? It is, really, di ba? Um, 10 years ago, imagine how much, uh, magkano lang sa PSEI, di ba? May nagpo-post mga 10-year challenge, um, how much PSEI is. Ngayon, nasa 9,000 na ang PSEI. And the people who are Sinong nakatik advantage nun, di ba? Ang mga mayayaman lang. Kasi, not because they have the money, available na naman ng PSEI para sa atin, it's just that they have the rich mindset into investing. So, sana po, sana po, right? It's not about the money that you have right now, but how you start. So, that lumaki ang pera ninyo, di ba? So, uh, sana dumami kayo sa so, um, South Korea na magpunta sa stock market not for trading not just for trading but especially for investing because even me until now I'm still an investor right at the same time I'm trading Ranul for first as my buntag coach Uglaika Viva Pitsinior Brilliant Encore Good morning Sir Lloyd Laika and everyone let's um start the week right FNI ABBA and X please alright si ABBA nasa recommendations ko today right perfect I mean 20 bounce let's talk about those later on Raymond Arano, good morning Sir Lloyd. Ano po ang insight nyo kay IRC? Na green candle po siya nung Friday closing. Pakisama din po yung STR. Right. Sama natin si STR. Actually, okay naman si IRC. I just don't like uh, the position right now because it's a bearish triangle. So it's really good to wait for a breakout from the triangle before we wanna get in. Um, kasi medyo shaky si IRC. As of the moment. Joe Marlim, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Albay. Good morning, Sir Jan. Roman Raymond Arano, Sir Lloyd, may webinar po kayo ngayong weekend. What time po? Eh, nga pala. Speaking of the webinar, yes, meron ako this weekend. That's January 24 and 25, Friday and Saturday, 8 in the evening. Right? So send me a message if you want to join that. It's going to be a very fruitful seminar. Right? Ang dami niyo pong matutunan, I tell you. Right? It's a very good investment, especially if nagsisimula pala kayo mag-trade. Miss, natipirin niyo yan. 
yung enrollment niya sa uh, sa seminar i tell you baka mawala lang yan so just invest it in yourself and learn the stock market join the webinar right if hindi kayo maka-join sa February 2 which is on Manila um just join the webinar instead right um good day um che hero good morning um folaika ay bumagsak bigla yung comments eh right andito ako kay um, Raymond Arano. Ayan. O nga pala, um, sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button para ma-notify po kayo uh, um, whenever another video comes up. Um, share the video, please. Pakishare po sa Facebook walls niyo so that your friends will, uh, this will spark the curios- curiosity of your friends na nasa stock market kayo. And if that um if they think about it they'll be curious what stock market is bakit nag bakit nag stock market itong si Joe Marlim eh pang mayaman man yan paano siya nang pag stock market <laughs> kanya kahit kanyan lang na kahit kanyan lang na curiosity mas spark naman natin at least malaman lang ay nga pala hindi pala pang mayaman lang ang stock market and then they will start in the stock market so at the very least at that with that simple uh, with that simple gesture we can affect our society um sa stock market uh, mag join sa stock market um also please share it to your face uh, if you have trading groups, please share this video to your trading groups. This is a very good lesson today. At least man lang mga newbies ma-aware sa mga program na ganito that will guide them in their trading journey especially. Right? Romel Icasiano. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Um, Bazaar from SG from Singapore. Good morning, Sir Jans or Singapore. Uh, hopefully, makapunta tayo dyan. There's a plan um, around April. So, hopefully, that materializes. So, I'll see you there. Sana. Marilu, 3D Print Wiz. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And sa lahat from CDO. Good morning, Sir Jan. Real Jane. Julian, good morning, Sir. Pwede po pasilip din si FGen. Alright, sulat natin si FGen. Taas na yung FGen eh. Alright? Um, we, we, ta- we talked about FGen noon pa. Pwede man, dyan mataas na. Ang hirap ng pasukin. Um, so, if ever ganito na mga lumilipad na, just follow the trend line. Simple as that. Alright? If you want na uh, bet still on the uptrend stocks, pwede nyo i-check ang trend line. Tingnan na natin kung pwede pa bang habulin ngayon. Sami Meneses, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Maldives. 5.15 more in the morning here. Dito sa amin, it's 8.30. Pwede palit tayo ako dyan sa Maldives. Ikaw dito sa Cebu. <laughs> so, good morning sa inyo dyan. Uh, here, SMC, MPI, PCOR, LTG. Alright, SMC, lumipad na. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay SMC doon sa baba. MPI is in my... Is it in my picks today? Yes, MPI is in my picks for today. PCOR also is in my picks for today. LTG, let's check out LTG. Uh, so, tignan pa rin natin si SMC kung pwede pa mahabulin. Mamaya na lang siguro pag pullback na eh. So, just to be sure, basitain natin. Right, um, Romeo Marinas, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, from KSA and good morning sa inyo dyan, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia 3D print ways pasilip naman po si web na ipit ako si web naman alright um if you notice I'm not recommending web lately kasi may parang bad news na lalabas eh. so um let's stay vigilant lang muna kay web tignan natin yung chart ni web Leo Abad sir good morning paki shout out naman sa anak ko na si Shane and Hicks Abad Good morning, Leo, Shane, and Hicks, and good morning to your family, Daniel Gonzalez. Good morning, sir. SMC po, ang ganda nito ni Leo. Eh. His kids are um exposed. Yeah, dapat ginagawa niyo po ito if may mga kids kayo. Expose them in stock market into investing. Para pag laki nila, hindi po basta-basta kahit ano binibili nila. Kumpanya na lang po ang bilhin nila. <laughs> right? So, SMC po from Daniel Gonzalez. Yan, nasulat natin yan. Mabel, San Jose, good morning, Sir Lloyd. check po si EEI. EEI is in my recommendations for today. Uh, these are my recommendations for today. Lagay ko po sa chat room. Yan po. So, yan. So, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Observer Tan. Um, any insights po on FNI and FLI? Right? So, uy, si FLI lumipad na at last. Alright, lang araw ko rin yan, ilang weeks ko rin yan ni Reco. Yun ang problema eh, right? If my recommendation, may linagay ko recommendation, binigay ko recommendation sa inyo guys, tapos pumasok kayo. It will take time for stock to move. As long as your, um, your cut loss is not hit, as long as the support is holding, ihawakan nyo po muna yan. As much as possible, give it maximum tolerance. Kasi pag exit nyo, baka naman dun rin umakyat. So that usually happens. It always happens to newbies. Shailo Jaime, good morning. Good morning. From Rome Traders, right? So, good morning sa inyo. Happy birthday. And so, yan. Um, tingnan natin ulit si FNI and FLI. Uh, 
Ah, congratulations kay Senator Manny Pacquiao nga pala for a very uh, good win yesterday. Uh, mabuhay po kayo, right? Hopefully, manood naman si Pacquiao dito. <laughs> um, EEI and Observer. Um, Wing, Gloria, sir, paano po mag-register sa trading class nyo dito sa Dubai? Just send me a message sa Facebook page ko, Financial Freedom 101. Send me a message. Ang nga pala, speaking of Dubai, um, February 15, Ayan, February 15 po, I'll be there. We're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be sharpening your trading. Tuturuan po kayo paano mag-trade talaga. So, at least, nag- ma'am, alam nyo na po anong gagawin ninyo. If you, if you wanna join that, please send me a message. I strongly recommend you join that. Huwag nyo po sasayangin yung pera nyo na. Sasaba kayo sa trading na wala pa kayo, wala pa kayong alam. Right? The seminar will be very helpful for you. February 15, Dubai, sa Fiesta Pinoy po, uh, 12 noon to 5 p.m. Lunch will be served. Um, sa Abu Dhabi, I'm still arranging for the venue. But still, same time. That's 5th February 16. Right? 12 to 5 pa rin. So, mag-reserve na po kayo. Madali lang naman yung venue. Anyways, um, I'm not making the venues fancy. Right? Para po, um, para hindi po maging mahal. Right? As much as possible, we want it to be very inexpensive. Right? Um, and then, Qatar po, February 22. That's a Friday. The next week na, punta tayo ng Qatar. If you're in Qatar, join the seminar po. Napakaganda po ng seminar. I did post about it. Invite your friends if you want to. Right? We can talk about trading. And then, yung mga newbies naman, if ever uh, may mga kasama kayo na wala pa sa stock market, yeah, maybe we can extend for a bit and then we'll talk about uh, the basics of stock market. Let's let them understand why we should invest in the stock market. Right? G. Van- Vangate, good morning Sir Lloyd. Ano po kayang mangyayari simula ngayon sa SMPH? How about CHP? Usually pag ganyan, uh, yung nga pala, condolence to the C family. Right? Um, as you know, as you most probably know already, uh, Mr. Henry C., uh the um the epitome of success right rags to riches para pong si Manny Pacquiao din yan pero mas matindi pa yung story niya right um became um how he became the richest filipino in the in the philippines right so um he is uh, he has already rested and yun um this might affect SMPH right Baka, bumaba. Um, I'm seeing support kay SMPH at saka kay SM. As on, I'm not recommending it because usually these uh, these kinds of, uh, these, uh, what they call this, these kinds of news has an effect. Usually, yung mga loyalist kay, kay Sir Henry C., um, if I'm an investor and loyalist kay Sir Henry C., wala na si Sir Henry C., and then, okay naman, kung kumita na ako sa SMPH, then, maybe I'm just gonna be removing my stocks. That's the possible scenario, right? And then, just look for another um, field to invest in. So, baka magka-sell off po today. So, konti ingat po sa SMPH. Right? CHP naman and DMC. Let's write, let's write this down. CHP and DMC. Ayan. Marlo Aquino. Uh, good morning. Uh, Michael Aquino. Uy, mga Aquino. Right? Uh, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Um, ISM and ABBA po. Alright. Si ABBA is in my list for today. ISM, let's just wait for the bounce. So, ang ganda naman ng chart pa rin ni ISM. Still bullish. Right? So, ISM. Um, Chris Go. Picor po. Picor. Right? So, nasa recommendation ko si Picor. Yeah, let's talk about ISM's chart really quick. Ang dami kasi natatakot kay ISM. Eh. Nga pala, guys, um, this is eToro. Right? This is my port on eToro. It's earning with my Google investment. Um... I did recommend sa inyo, right? I did post about Apple the past few days. Yet, yeah, si Apple, nag-uptrend na. Hopefully, pumasok kayo. Kay Google ako pumasok eh. But Apple is already on an uptrend. Meron pa nga ang mga nagko-comment sa post ko. Uh, ay, ano daw nas- paano ko daw nasabi? Paano mo nasabi na mag-uptrend yan? Noong dito pa lang yan, engulfing pattern. Guys, same na tinuturo ko po sa inyo technical analysis wise pababa ang presyo RSI is already going up that's a divergence that's a possible good bottom and we have an engulfing pattern if lagyan niyo po ng Bollinger Band yan yes na engulfing po yan with the Bollinger Band and ayan na nag uptrend na so congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Apple um, eToro you can trade the system that I'll be teaching you, yes, sa mga seminar ko, yung mga tinuturo ko pa sa inyo, even here, right? it's applicable in international markets. It's the same. Hindi lang ako sanay with the short selling. Dapat na short sell ko. Ito ang lakas na nakita ko dito. Hindi pa ako sanay sa short selling. Um, but we should have been able to do that. right? Um, sa short selling naman, we have we had a signal right here, pataas ang presyo, but RSI was already going down. 
my God, this is my technical analysis. Dapat nakita ko ito noon pa dito, di ba? Look at that. Pataas ang presyo, pababa ang RSI. That's our technical analysis. I should have short, short sold this. Kaso nga lang, natatakot pa ako with the international markets. Hindi ko pa feel yung galaw talaga ng international market. Plus, hindi ko napapanood real time eh, kasi gabi. But yeah, if you want to trade uh, international markets, eToro is good option. right? Check out eToro. Create an account using my link below. If you use that, it's gonna help me in return. Hindi lang yan. Ang gusto ko talaga dito is ang mga pumunta dito is mga tao, mga kapatid natin, um, na hindi po marunong mag-trade and don't, don't have the time to trade and don't want the stress of trading, you can always click on this area right here. That's copy people. Just look for people you want to. You can even copy my trade if you want to. Just look for me. Um, look for people here. Click nyo lang po. For example, ito si, uh, si Andy Yung. Yan, Hinchi Yung. Makikita nyo po yung statistics niya for January. Negative 4 siya. But, the past, uh, for last year, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the past 6 months, and except for this January, he's positive. So that's okay. That's very good trading, right? Hindi naman all the time positive yan, even me, di ba? So, and then you just click on copy, and then put how much amount you want to put in copying him, and then just copy, and then makakopya niyo po ano pong gagawin niya sa mga trades niya. So whatever he earns from then on, um, from the time you copied, you earn also. So if you just copied him six months ago, may 25% gains na po kayo. This is, and this is as easy as that. Ganun lang po kasimple. Sila na po bahala, mas stress para sa trading. And then you earn right away. So check out eToro at eToro.com. Anyways, um, ISM. Let's check, check out ISM's chart. Ayan, si, uh, it's 8.39. Ito ang ayaw ko kay Investagrams ngayon. Bakit ang lag? Alright, let me check out. Um, let me use Chrome. Alright, so ISM. Kamas tayo natin si ISM. Uh, let me go full screen. Alright, so ISM, still well on its uptrend line. So it's still bullish, right? It's still, we're still seeing higher highs and higher lows. So we're bullish. We just hit a resistance right here. Medyo lower high na rin yan. But overall, still bullish. Um, On the bounce, pag nag-bounce yan, yes, Diyan po kayo pwedeng pumasok. Sa mga hindi pa po nakapasok, right? Sa mga hindi pa nakapasok, yes, just enter and test buy on that bounce. Why? Ang dami na tatakot, gusto nila hilain si ISM papunta daw sa 3. It might go down sa 3. And if it goes down, you know that people will be buying it. So, there's nothing to worry about. Wala kayong tatakot, kaya takot. Basta baka takot kayo na bumaba at bumaba at bumaba. No, hindi. It will go up because people and dami po nakaabang dyan. The demand will be very big for ISM if ever bumaba man yan. So it's just gonna go up. If in case that's gonna happen, right? If in case that's gonna happen. At least kung mga ha it happens, you're still in the uh, you're still in the trade and test buy lang naman ginawa natin. Hindi naman tayo nag all in. You, you still have money to average down if you need to. Now, what if, ito yung importante, what if it goes up right away? Yun ang problema. So, if it goes up, right, yung mga ayaw pumasok at nang babash, may iwan lang mga yan, mafofomo lang ang mga yan pag akyat. So, an advantage kung pag-test by tayo, pag umakyat, we're already in the trade, hindi na po tayo maiingit and then we just wait for our next entry point if ever umakyat man. Right? So, that's for ISM. Right? Um, ABBA po, eh, nasulat natin yan. ABBA is in my recommendations for today. Chris Go, good morning, Isabel. Chris Go, si Picor, nasulat natin yan. Isabel, good morning, sir, and congrats on your seminar. Thank you so much. Right. Um, hi, Sir Lloyd. Good morning. Pasuyo po sa SMC, SSI. NSM, see you po on Feb 2. Right? See you on Feb 2. Guys, February 2. Um, February 2, I'll be there in Manila. May seminar po tayo dyan. This is sponsored by eToro. Guys, 1-5 lang po ang seminar. Grabe naman para sa, ano. And all, also, mind you, napaka-konti na lang ng seats, right? Um, um, sayang po opportunity. Uh, Mag-register na po kayo, right? Um, seats are almost full. Okay, hindi ko po gaano ina-advertise na kasi mas, almost puno na. But if you wanna join, there are still seats available just in case may mag-back out, mapasok pa naman yung iba, right? Please join the seminar. Register na po kayo. Sign po yung opportunity. Right? That's the cheapest seminar maybe you can find right? na maganda. Right? Laura, Ruby, Napa. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights po kay GT Cap. All right, down GT Cap. Asan yun? Mga sinusulat ko. Right? GT Cap. 
Alright, so yun, um, it's 8.43, so we have to start our discussion already. Alright, so we want to thank our sponsors, 2Trade Asia, 2TradeAsia.com. Check them out. Ang ganda po ng platform ng 2Trade Asia. Alright, if you prefer to go to the Prime platform, it's a very good platform. Check it out. Very reliable. Alright, uh, may question dito. Itoro, sir, not available for Canada residents. Yeah, sadly, hindi pwede sa Canada and US si Itoro kasi bawal ang copy trading doon kasi... Sobrang simple, right? Napaka-simple ng platform, right? All you need to do is just copy and someone and then wala ka nang ginagawa. So, they're not allowing it yet, right? So, and then you need to, uh, they need to get a brokerage there also talaga, right? So, meron sila doon pero crypto lang ang pwede. So, yun, hindi pa, hindi pa sum, uh, ayaw pa ng US na ng, ng copy trading. Anyways, ayun, um, kasi ang laki ng tax na nakukuha nila from ano eh, from, from, Uh, from the brokers kasi eh. Tapos pag copy trading, napaka-simple na nang um, ginagawa. Alright, anyways, ayun. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about um, revenge trading. Alright, let me share my screen. Revenge trading. That, um, ano ba yan? What is revenge trading? And uh, how do you, right? How, how, how does it affect your Uh, your trading. Revenge trading happens when if you are losing on your previous trades, you get pressured. Right? This is about emotion basically on losing. Right? For example, last month, you uh, you had 100,000 in your port and then you lost around 20,000 of it. And then the other month, you're still lost. So you now have a very big percentage of, lo- of losses in your in your port. So what this does is this pressures you to recover it this month, and once you let the pressure take in, you uh, uh uh what take over, what you usually do is you hasten right you what they call this magmamadalika, right, on your future trades, and that's what I don't want you to do right because you want to recover right away if you see a stock that's going up sasakin nyo kaagad even if you don't know the stock yet you don't know what it's doing why is it doing an uptrend right and you tend to make mistakes during these uh, when when this happens that's revenge trading for example last month talo ka I want to recover it now and then laki kasi ng talo ko last month so I really need to recover it this month so magahanap ka and uh, ng stock kaagad even without proper research and you make things uh you make decisions in in haste sabi nga nila haste makes waste di ba so pag magmamadali ka pumasok sa isang stock you tend to make mistakes and you lose more instead di ba that's revenge trading it's really bad for newbies you should be aware of this emotion right i hope si uh, wala po sa inyong naka-experience na nito if you did just post it in the comments if you have experienced this before the pressure of um of trying to recover your your portfolio and in the end you make another mistake at lumalim at lumalim patuloy ang talo mo who uh, who has experienced this right so what do you do to avoid this Pro- proper goal setting right i always teach my students this when it comes to goal setting do not think about the results do not focus on results Instead, focus on doing the right things. Doing the right things like, Uy, uh, this month in my trade, I want to make sure that I can follow my trading bias. Me, my trading bias is fundamentally good stocks. I only trade fundamentally good stocks plus backed up by price, right? Is it fair? Uh, is the fair value good? Is, it, is the price lower than its fair value? And then technical analysis. So, I want to make sure I only trade stocks that hit these three biases before I want to get in. So, I want to focus on that. Kasi yung tendency ko, hindi mo i-focus yan. Uy, nireko ito. Ang ganda. So, sabi nila, maganda daw ang technical analysis. Then you forget about fund- the fundamentals and then you forget about the fair value also. So, focus on doing the right thing. My point is, focus on doing the right thing. Focus on your trading bias. Focus on being able to cut your losses. Focus on doing test buys. Ang dami pong execution dyan na tinuturo ko and tinuturo ng ibang mga gurus. Focus on doing those things first. I tell you, yung recovery na yan, yung makakabawi kayo, that will just come, uh, 
uh, that will just come automatically. If you focus on doing the right things, results will just follow. If may nakikita ka po kayong mga post ng mga students ko na they're even surprised themselves, hala, yung port ko na green na. Right? That's because they're now focusing on doing the right things. I always imply this uh, to them uh, during the seminars that I have. So that's how you st- avoid st- uh, revenge trading. Wag po kayo magpapa pressure. Do not think about recovery. Do not think. Don't even think about gains. Right? Think about doing the right thing in the stock market, and you should be okay. Automatic na po sa 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 gains na yan. Right? So that's. Revenge trading. It's a very short discussion, but I really want this to be. Uh, I want. I really want um, newbies to be aware of this. Um, of this mistake, right? Iwasan yun po yung revenge trading na yan, right? If you're losing now, that's because you did wrong things. Just focus on doing the right thing, and it won't happen again. Wag nyo pong iisipin na kailangan ko pong makabawi dito. Kaya magtatrade ako na mabilis, right? You're you're gonna be doing mistakes instead, right? Um, so, sa comments, uh, let's go to the charting now and my recommendations. Um, I'll stop muna with uh, Rod, uh, with Rainer. Right? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sana po, Darvas Box naman next time. Siguro, yes, tomorrow we'll talk about Darvas Box. Very good recommendation. Right? Um, I'll write that, that, I'll write that down. Uh, Darvas Box. Yeah. Siguro, yes, te- that's technical analysis. We'll talk about Darvas Box tomorrow. So, bangan yung po yung episode tomorrow. Right. So, I'll prepare for that tonight. Right. So, I'll stop with Rod Cruz muna. I'll go to my recommendations now. Let's go to the charts. Right. So, let me open the chart. Here we go. There. So, let me zoom in kasi medyo maliliit yung mga... Yeah, so hope this is clear. Yeah, so what are my picks for today? My picks for today are ten 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 L R E E I P I P A B G M P I two go P core E M P and A B S B. I have nine, but kahit si nung jan sa nine na yan, I think they're gonna be winning, right? I think they're gonna be winning, but. Um, wala naman perfect dito but usually sa mga picks ko naman um nagsusustain naman so karamihan they say that a good trader wins a 6 out of 10 trades right let's see how many wins we're gonna be getting today with this picks alright um, hindi naman for today in the coming days right you can do that statistics sa mga picks ko if you want to right so LR right number 1 si LR ay natin si LR um, LR just confirmed a support Dito at this area, so LR is looking good, right? Just confirm the support. This is a good support for LR. Nagbound siya kaagad on that level right there. So you want to test this out. Yes, LR is a very good company. Good third quarter earnings. Look at those numbers. Plus 7.65% for third quarter. Second quarter, plus 17%. Uh, first quarter, medyo negative lang. Um, yun. So LR has been doing well as, um, for this year. Uh, LR, yes, I'm gonna recommend it. Still very cheap overall, si LR. And yun, si Burakai na project nila tuloy na. So, there it is, LR, number one. Next is EEI. I've been recommending this for how many days na? Guys, binigyan tayo ng opportunity again to get in. And then there's that bounce that we're looking for again. EEI, confirmation na po yan. Overall, how much your, is your risk? Let's see if we can still check this out yon negative 2.96 uh towards support so more or less your risk is around 6% that's still tolerable for me um your reward ratio naman um let's see how much it is so uh, 4% so try to bargain all right try to bargain near support sana makapasok pa kayo near support at around 8.04 uh within today but I've been recommending EEI already for how many days. So, sana nakapasok na po kayo. Volume is already starting to pick up. Right? So, EEI is good. Nila natin alam kung lilipad ka agad yan or not. PIP naman guys. Si PIP just confirmed uh, support. Yan. So, nagbounce na si PIP. So, that's a good entry point for PIP. Right? Volume is already starting to pick up. I hope you can see the volume. It's already starting to pick up on this level. So, that means people are already accumulating. People are already starting to accumulate PIP. 
So get in near the support as much as you can. Um, actually, may bounce na. So just get in there. Uh, malit pa naman yung risk niyo overall. So PIP is good, right? Look at technical analysis lang. Look at what the chart is telling us. We have a support. We have a divergence. And then... Ayan, um, no, hindi, wala pa lang divergence, right? Uh, I don't know, uh, meron ba? Divergence dito, uh, sorry. Let me see if may divergence ba. Right, the support is sideways. Uh, no, not really a divergence, but the support is there. Um, the volume is there, right? It's backed up by volume. So this is a good support for PIP. Huwag po sasayangin yan. ABG, but this is purely technicals lang guys sa si PIP. I don't, really don't like the fundamentals of PIP, but I cannot disregard the obvious, uh, the obvious, what they call this, volume and accumulation of PIP So and the support. So yeah, technical analysis is nananaig during that time. Uh, you can tell it by because of the price action. right? So ABG, guys, ABG just bounce on the support. There it is. Good support for ABG. You can test that out if you want to. Right, ang ganda ng support ni ABG. Uh, next is MPI. MPI naman, um, actually lumipad na dito po natin sa baba. Nirecommend si MPI but still not yet too late. We have a bounce for MPI already. So MPI, I believe is good to get into. Overall, MPI is still very cheap. Right, for a good company, that's a very good position overall. So pwede nyo po accumulate yan. Pwede nyo i-test buy. If it goes down, you just buy more. Um, you, for sure, MPI is just gonna grow. Right? Um, if nagdadalo ang isip kayo, tingnan nyo po ilang sasakyan dumadaan sa mga toll gates every day. Tugo. Right? Si Tugo is already giving us good price action. Bollinger Band is telling us to magsa sideways siya. So, I guess this is the sideways movement of Tugo. Right? I'm kind of aggressive with Tugo kasi it's now obvious. Kaya pala nakikipag-partner si uh, sila uh, ang SM kay ano kay kay Dennis Uy because yeah, um, may future movements. Uh, si Mr. C is has already passed the baton to the next uh, business mogul right there baka nag talent acquisition lang yun eh. so they're ho they were honing Dennis Uy to be the next um uh big player right so ayun um next pick ko ngayon from Tugo no why is this here why are we in ISM <laughs> ayun double plan chart ko kaya pala Tugo. Yeah, my picks for today. One is Tugo rin. Next is, <coughs> excuse me, Picor. Ito naman si Picor. Right? Um, strongly recommend Picor. Why? Confirming the support again. Right? This is a good support for Picor. This is a divergence. And this area right here from this support to that. So, that's a divergence. Good volume already. You can see the increase in volume already. So, accumulation is there already. For Picor, yan po. Picor is already good. We have a bounce, very low risk position. I strongly recommend Picor also. Um, next is Emperador. Emperador MA20 bounce. Uh, there it is. Um, MA20 bounce. This is why I love MA20. And there's the confirmation. You can test out this if you want to. Medyo shaky lang ako nga lang kay um, Emperador uh, because of this divergence right here, pataas ang presyo, but pababa ang RSI. But considering, considering that we're in MA20, so, and overall, it's a very cheap price. Uh, still, Emperador is still okay for me. This is very, uh, Emperador has been giving us good numbers for this year. So, very consistent, right? Everything is positive. Yung annual earnings lang nila ka, last year ang negative. But this year, everything has been positive. So, for sure, yung annual earnings nila will be very positive for this year. So, habang maaga pa si Emperador, pasokin yung note po yan. Um, ABSP, right? Recommending ABSP also for today. Ayan, ito po. So, why? We have good price action. And this area, this support area has been holding on right there. And then, good volume already. We have a very healthy volume for how many days na wala siyang volume. We have good volume for ABSP already. Yung main na recommend ko, sila Lopez, sila ABS-CBN, naglipara na. So, for sure, uh, most probably, and me for sure, most probably, this is gonna go up also. ABS-CBN, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay ABS-CBN when we recommended it at this support. Same, look at the volume. That's obvious that people were already accumulating 
during this area right here. At yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, makikita nyo na po yung volume at this support right here. So, that's people accumulating. And there it is, lumipad na. Especially si Lopez, LPZ. Right? Congratulations kung si Lopez naman ang pinili nyo. Lumipad na si Lopez hanggang ngayon. Akyat pa rin ang akyat. But yeah, you can see the accumulation in this area right here. Right? So, we did recommend it here at the MA20 bounce. And there it is. Um, gumawa lang ng support and then lumipad na after that. So, LPZ, the one I recommend it now. But there it is. So, those are my picks for today. I'm gonna go now to your request. We still have much time. It's still 8.58. So, I guess ma... Um, ma madadaanan natin ito lahat. Mer naman, unang question natin is Mer. Alright, so let me just go to Alright, um, so tingnan muna natin yung mga comments. Greg Sinugbohan, nakaka-relate ako dyan, Sir Lloyd, yung talo ko sa ISM. Mag-gain ko sa ibang stocks na ubos ng cut loss ako sa pumasok sa tel kala ko tuloy nag up trend pero mali pala bumagsak cut loss ko naman, alright, so yes, that's revenge trading buti na panood ko po ito ngayon ako po Sir Lloyd Newby here, yan nga po ang binabala ko since medyo negative po ang ECP ko, wag nyo po iisipin ang losses ninyo, alright, on your next trade, it should, you should, be, it should be free from the negatives of your previous trades, do not do not think about your losses when you're on your next trades, always focus on the right things, alright very good, um, Leo. Um, Nico, ako sir, currently experiencing this. I did it, Coach Lloyd, and I changed already. That's good, Jerome. Nico, Nico Delisay. To the point where twice ako nag revenge trading, laging talo. Yes. It's just gonna ruin your trade, right? Make sure, make sure before you get in a trade, dapat alam nyo po anong ginagawa ninyo. Hindi yung, hindi yung gusto ko i-trade ito para makabawi ka agad ako. That should not be your reason on getting in the next stock. On your next stock, should be focusing on your risk to reward ratio um, on your on the fundamentals on the technical analysis and that should be the reason why you got into the stock right so yun very good um, I'm gonna go back to um, I'm gonna go back to the uh, last comments kanina which was with uh, Rod Cruz so yun si Mer asan yun si Mer po Bollinger Band trigger sa baba. We do have a support right here. So, maybe mag-bounce yan. But, uh, I don't want Mer right now. Uh, medyo mataas na po ang presyo ni Mer. Eh, right? Uh, maybe it's gonna sustain the, ano. Maybe it's gonna sustain that support. But, as of the moment, still too aggressive for me. Right? So, konti ingat lang muna kay Mer. Right? Anyways, it's been doing, giving us good numbers naman for Mer. Once you see the uh, bounce on this support, you can test that out. I really don't like the position right now. I don't want to recommend Mer because of this. Pataas ang presyo but RSI is going down. Baka mag-downtrend pa and, ma and makes a major pullback like this one right here. Uh, may major pullback and bumaba dito. Let's, if ever, hindi mag-bounce dyan, um, huwag nyo muna pasukin. Pag nag-bounce, yes, you can test buy. And then if it goes down, you don't have to cut your losses then since this is a good company i can, you can always uh wait for it to ano uh, to bounce again and just buy more i will recommend mer from to middle mid term at to mid term uh to long term ang ganda pa rin performance ni, ni mer so this is a very good company to get into still a on a very strong uptrend so overall kasi yung trend line niya is andito plus it's a bullish market so Napakaganda pa rin, right? We have an uptrend right here. Ang hirap i-plot ng uptrend niya. So, um, right now, Mer, I don't want you to be aggressive kay Mer, right? Kasi nasa taas yan eh, right? Uh, it's okay to be aggressive, especially if maliit ang risk ninyo. Uh, especially pag nasa baba pa. This stock, kind of shaky for me already. So, konting ingat lang po muna for Mer, right? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Um, insights po kay GTCAP. This is from Loa. Laura Ruby Napa. So, we'll talk, talk talk about that in a while. Nasulat naman natin yan. Next is SCC. Bakit nawawala lagi sa chart ko? SCC. Alright. So SCC naman. Um, somehow, it's it's holding a good support right here. Overall, SCC is cheap. Right? Uh, we did see a divergence of SCC already. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Right? It's been sustaining. The support has been sustaining for a week. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 5 days, the MA20 has sustained right here. Pwede nyo po pasukin yan. Pwede nyo pasukin po si Mer. Right? I will recommend uh, SAC. Right? This is good. Try this support. Usually kasi mamaya ako nare-reco yan pag I see a solid green. But the volume is starting to pick up. So this is okay. 
right? And the support is holding on strong. So price action wise, um, no one is selling below that. So that's good for me. SEC is good. Right? You can test by SEC. You can use MA20 or the major support as your support. Next up is CLC. Still okay si CLC as long as MA20 holds. If it bounces, then get in CLC. Napaganda po ng company na yan. Ang ganda ng mga investments nila. Hindi pa nakikita sa numbers because ang barko po napakamahal. Um, yung ROI niya napakatagal. But once it's uh, giving you ROIs, tiba-tiba naman kayo. Right? Um, IRC. Uh, IRC na green nga siya but still that's a yellow uh, that's a red Bollinger Band trigger at the uh, at the bottom part so that's heavy on the bottom part we have a good support right here right but 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 ito lang big but um, we have a downtrend line right here obviously that's a downtrend right so I strongly recommend let's wait for it to do a breakout before we wanna get in a breakout at this area or breakout at MA20 will be a confirmation that it is gonna go up but right now signs are heavy on the downside so I, str I do not recommend I don't want you to be too aggressive kay IRC as of the moment next for that is SS uh, SSI, may tanong about SSI. Don't want to recommend SSI anymore kasi may resistance na tayo. Dito yan, sino, dito yan sa support ko ni-recommend. SSI is already a missed opportunity. If you want to get in SSI, wait for it to do a breakout or wait for it to do a pullback before you want to get in. Right? So, stay away lang muna kay SSI. Masyado mataas pa yan. Right? Your next opportunity will come. Antayin nyo po yung buy signal nyo sa baba before kayo pumasok. Hindi yung lumilipad na saka kayo, saka kayo pumasok. FNI doing a pullback, just wait for it to bounce. Let's see if this support holds. It should be forming um, a so, uh, support anytime soon. We have an engulfing pattern, one of my favorite technical analysis, itong dalawang ito. That's an engulfing pattern. I usually wait for it to stabilize at around this area. And when I see the bounce, that is when I'm going to get in FNI. Right? Dito, the best area to get into was here at the bottom. Right? So, wala na eh. Alright, let's just wait for it to stabilize before we wanna get in. Next is ABBA. Uh, ABBA, ah, tinanggal ko muna si ABBA pala sa recommendation ko. But ABBA definitely is showing us an MA20 bounce. So, you can recommend, uh, you can get in ABBA if you want to. Ayoko na i-recommend si ABBA actually kasi medyo mataas na. We went in dito pala sa baba eh. Nang araw ko yun, nire-rec ko. There's yun. Medyo mataas na for me si ABBA. Uh, we are seeing, the RSI is already playing at those levels. So, um, kind of shaky for me already. Right? Ang mga tao dyan, nag-aantay lang ng dividends. Pag lumabas yung dividends, magsisilabasan na. So, I don't want to play around those levels anymore. right? So, I don't want to recommend it. But technical analysis-wise, MA20 bounce naman. So, I could be wrong. So, maybe that MA20 is gonna hold. Um, X naman, si Surpass, um, we do have a support right here. right? We have a support right there. I don't want to recommend it basically because fundamentals of S, uh, uh, X is not good, right? Um, we talked about the f uh, technical analysis before. Sabi ko, there's a big possibility na umakit yan because even if fundamentals niya pangit, it, in the end, it's what people are doing that dictates the price. Pero yun, um, bumaba rin kaagad. Yun nga lang problema sa mga um, basura stocks. Hindi nagsusustain talaga yung uptrend even the bullish market. Um, right now, it do you do have a support. You may want to try this out if you want to, but I don't recommend that. Um, I won't recommend X actually. Uh, for the aggressive ones, pag nag breakout yan, you can enter it here. Anyways, you already have a bounce. That will be your confirmation if ever mag bounce man yan. You can do that, right? Pwede na umakit yan talaga. If mag breakout, that's a good confirmation. STR. STR. Uh, star malls right so str after the ma20 bounce nagsusustain um i don't want to recommend it yet we are seeing weakness on the momentum so yeah it's shaky we are near resistance so i don't want to recommend that so str as much as possible if it dips down don't put tayo pumasok hindi po dyan. um it's not a good it's not at a good position anymore si str f gen uh, si FJ naman nag break ng MA20 but forming a support right here. Uh, I don't I will not recommend FJ. Look at this right here pataas ang presyo. Uh, RSI is going down. So that's that's a sign na tapos na yung uptrend niya. So baka mag major pullback before it wanna go it goes up again. So FJ too aggressive. 
for me, uh, I don't want to recommend it there yet for FGen. Medyo mataas na si FGen. Um, next up is SMC. SMC. Yun, si SMC, we did recommend it here. Uh, I did recommend for you guys to try it on a breakout then. Because if you want to humabol, sayang. If you want to SMC is already up there. That's a missed opportunity already. Just wait for it to do a pullback, humakit yan, and then pullback, and then bounce. Then this is where we get in. Right? Hindi po dyan na umaakit na. La I did recommend SMC dito pa sa baba pa lang. So, sayang naman if hindi kayo pumasok. Huwag nyo pong habulin yan sa taas. Doon sa baba dapat. Um, next for FGen SMC, LTG. Right? LTG, uh, Lusitan Group. Excuse me. Oh, wala ang chinelas ko. <laughs> Lusitan Group. Um, yun. Uh, very shaky still. Um, yun. It failed the support. Good uh, volume is heavy on the selling side. So, let's wait for Lucio Tan to stabilize first. Nag-downtrend ni siya. So, nakita niyo to. This is the technical analysis I'm telling you. Pataas ang presyo, but pababa ang RSI. So, usually if this happens, this happens right here. If this happens, if this happens, usually magda-downtrend ang isang stock. And there it is. Nag-downtrend siya after that. Um, don't want to recommend it yet. The, the support failed. So, let's see in the future if magbigay siya ng buy signals. But as of the moment, it's not good. Alright? So, web naman. Alright, so web. Mukhang babalik na naman sa support si web. Eh. So, let's wait for web to get in back to support before we wanna get in web. Overall, it's a good company. Meron, meron lang scare ngayon with a new law that is gonna be detrimental to them. Hopefully, hindi naman matuloy yun. So, web. Wait na lang. Antay lang tayo. If ever mag-bounce sa support, it's gonna be a very good bounce, right? So, let's wait lang for web. FNI. Yan si FNI. Yes. Uh, pag nag-bounce yan, pwede nyo na pusukin yan si FNI. Uh, FLI. Ito si FLI. Good job sa mga pumasok kay FLI. We did recommend FLI uh, around this support right here. Actually, dito pa eh. Diba? Around this level ko pa na-recommend si FLI. Tagal gumalaw. Nag-Bollinger Band Trigger. I may 20 bounce. Bollinger Band Trigger. Tapos natulog muna before gumalaw. It happens, right? Um, uh, we did talk about this spike right here. The volume spike. So, yan. And then the investors went in at around this area. Ang tagal nga lang bago gumalaw. But once it moved, yan. Ang ganda naman ang move niya. So, let's wait for it to do a pullback before we wanna get in FLI. Huwag nyo na po habulin yan. CHP then, the CHP amazing. Last uh ano, last Friday, one of um, the biggest winner. Yeah, to guys, a little lesson about intraday trading, right? Day trading. Si CHP last Friday nag 8%. Grabe ang gap up in the opening. When a gap up happens, right? This was the gap up of C CHP. Right? But if the gap up ha happens, you know that the stock is started bullish. Right? Stock started bullish. Right? So, if the stock starts bullish within the day, papanoorin nyo na po yan intraday. One minute charts niya. If it's a bullish, pwede nyo po sakyan yan as long as you know what you're doing. I teach this in the seminar. I even uh, uh, discussed about this last uh, last Saturday. Right? So, bullish na siya. And it formed this support right here. This is an entry point. Right? Meron tayong support dyan. Bol Bollinger Bands are constricted. That's an entry point. Right? So, antayin nyo po yung entry point ng intraday. This is what I've been teaching you. Support. Uh, support. That's a good entry point. Number two, Bollinger Band trigger. Pag nag-trigger, wait for it at MA20. That's an entry point. Intraday. If hindi ko pumasok sa support, inintayin nyo muna yung trend niya. Bollinger Band trigger. And then, there it is. MA20 bounce. Nagtuloy-tuloy. This is the same technical analysis I've been teaching you all the time, right? Every day, right? And then, there is this right here. Nag, um, nag, nag downtrend siya right here. But when it broke the MA20, nag downtrend, and then umakit siya, downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. And then we have an engulfing pattern right here. This is an engulfing pattern, and look at this. Intraday, gumawa siya ng divergence, pababa ang presyo, RSI is gonna go up, it just stabilized, that's an entry point, same technical analysis I'm teaching you, 
right? That's an entry point and then there it is, umakyat na siya. Um, Bollinger Band trigger ulit, MA20 bounce ulit. Same technical analysis, MA20 bounces. If it breaks MA20, alis na. Diba? So, ganun lang. If it breaks MA20 right this, here in this area, alis na. But basically, day trading, scalping is similar to position trading. It's just that you have to be very fast with your technical analysis and your execution. right? So, a little lesson about intraday trading lang. It's the same technical analysis. It's just that much, much more faster. And mas kakabahan po kayo dito. So, little, uh, yan po yung parang lesson ko ngayon sa inyo sa day trading. At least man lang, uh, may idea kayo sa day trading. So, just master your position trading first. Please, master rin nyo muna yung position trading ninyo. Ito mga patterns na ito, mga Bollinger Bands to support, um, ascending triangles, dapat you, you can see them by instinct. Right? Master rin nyo po na, muna yung technical analysis nyo before you wanna go into day trading. Um, by instinct kasi, pag nakita mo yan dyan, hindi yung papunta ka pa sa patterns mo. Anong mong pattern to? Tapos nag-break out na within the one-minute chart. So, pangit yan. You have to see it by the minute. Makita, uy, nag-ascending triangle. And thank you, break out. Pag break out, pasok. And mabilisan ang day trading. Same technical analysis, just much, much more faster. Right? So, at least naka-sneak peek ako ng, ano sa inyo, ng day trading na lesson. Right? Kasi may oras pa naman tayo. Eh. <laughs> so, I hope you learned. Um, CHP, next is DMC. DMC, naalala ko lang yan kasi we talked about it in the seminar sa Simnulog last Saturday. Eh. So, people want to be a day trader. Yes, I told them, you can be a day trader. It's the same technical analysis. But look at this. Ganun kabilis ang technical analysis doon. So, you have to master your technical analysis for sa position trades. Right? Position trades nga na technical analysis, hindi nyo mapanalo doon pa kaya sa day trading. Right? So, DMC, here is DMC. Meron tayong support for DMC. I wanted to bounce muna before we wanna be aggressive kay DMC. Overall, ang ganda pa rin ng company ni DMC. Gave us consistent numbers, third quarter earnings. Pa, uh, ayun, third quarter niya pala is big negative. So, uh, this is kind of shaky, kaya nahirapan na siya umakyat. Right, so let's see if this support holds. Pag nag-sustain tong support na ito, maybe you want to get in. I don't, um, pero trigger niya sa Bollinger Band sa baba eh. So kind of shaky. Don't want to recommend um, DMC as of the moment. Marami pong iba dyan. Right, ISM, we talked about ISM already. GT Cap, ito si GT Cap, isang request. GT Cap guys, um, I don't want to recommend it anymore. Why? Pataas ang presyo. Same technical analysis, pababa ang RSI. So, those are weak tops already. So, I don't want to recommend that stock anymore. Right? So, GTCAP, nag-bollinger band trigger sa taas. But, I think it's gonna we uh, it's a weak top. So, maybe mag magbaba na yan and makes another support at around this area. So, let's just wait for it in the future. Wag na yan lumilipad na stocks. So, yun po habulin yan. Alright, so let me just see if may comments ba dito. Um, hi, sir, IDC po. Sir, tataas po kaya si SM, SMPH, we did dahil kay Tatang uh, Henry C. Uh, I don't think tataas siya kaagad. I think it's gonna go down muna. Alright, so any questions about the intraday trading? I hope wala. Alright, so let's continue. Um, last question kanina. We stopped at... Um, asan na yan? We stopped with... Laura, uh, Ruby, Napa. Alright, so we stop with that. Um, let's go to Patrick Ayan Ortega. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. MR, MRC and Expo. MRC. It's MRC. Kamusta natin? Downtrend pa si MRC. Eh. So stay away lang muna tayo. Let's wait for further price action kay MRC. Okay, X naman. Kamusta natin si X? Yeah, we talked about X already. Norberto Balat Bat. Bakit nawawala lagi ang chart ko? Na? This is annoying. Sige, hindi lang ako mag-full screen guys ha, kasi nawawala lagi. Right. Um, Norberto Balat Bat. Sir Lloyd, good morning po. Um, Web, EEI, P-Core. We talked about these already. EEI and P-Core are good. Sir, your fearless forecast for ISM come January 31. I think it's gonna go up. Right. I think it's gonna go up. Mapapublic na yung mga numbers ni ISM. Let's see, uh, let me, ni, ni, ano, ni, uh, what do you call this? Ni Udena, right? Udena has a very good portfolio. I think it's gonna go up, right? So, yan. Um, Junker Del Rosario, good morning po. But I can be wrong, right? So, uh, 
So, do your own bias lang talaga. I position myself na what ifs and the what ifs. Meron, nag-iipon ako ng pera ngayon. Binenta ko na yung mga nagliliparan kong stocks. Binenta ko na si DNL. Binenta ko na si Aba ko. Hindi na ako nag-intay ng ano, ng, ng what you call this, uh, ng dividends. I'm already um, gearing up for ISM. Right? Nag, nag, Nag-free up na ako ng buying power. Um, for January 31. Come January 31, what, uh, if, if, if it goes down, at least may pera ako to average down if I need to average down. Because definitely, definitely, it's gonna go up. Third tail ko po, kahit yan lang ang isipin ninyo. Napakaganda po ng project na yan. Right? Plus, yan. Actually, I've been recommending, uh, Udena is doing well without the third tail ko. Ang laki po ng plus ng third tail ko. So, you don't have to worry about these positions right here. So, ISM is good. Um, Junker, Del Rosario, um, CHIB. Tingnan natin si CHIB. Alright, so CHIB. Uy, nga pala, ito. I mean, 20 bounce. So, this is good for CHIB. We have good volume piling up already. Yeah, si CHIB. Pwede mo itest out yan. Good job, uh, Junker. Na, hindi ko napansin si CH, CHIB. Ah, nag-bounce na pala. DNL. Oh, no, not CNL. DNL. DNL. Alright. Binanta ko na si DNL ko. Alright. <laughs> when, when, when the weakness happened, 11.76. Pwede pa umakit yan actually, but I don't really know. I'm just freeing up, ano. Kasi medyo malaki na rin yung gain natin dyan kay DNL. Alright. So, it was at around 18% already. So, short term lang naman ang goal ko kay DNL. So, yan. Um, maybe it's gonna bounce anytime soon. Baka umabot pa ng 12 yan. I can't really tell though. Right, kasi we're, we're already at high RSIs. Mag-pull back yan and then bounces, then that will be a good entry point. For now, wag muna. F-Gen. Right, si F-Gen. Yeah, ilang araw ko kaya yun, you know, nirecommend si DNL, diba, dun sa baba. F-Gen, um, yeah, we talked about F-Gen already. It's already at the top, so I don't want to buy that anymore. CHIB would be the best for you, Junker. Right, kasi maliit pa ang... Uh, malipit, malit pa ang risk kay CHIB. Sila DNL, FGN, lumipad na po yan. Huwag niyo na pong uh, sasakyan yan. Al, Al, Alice, All right, good morning. Uh, take me wherever you go. Good morning. Rodrigo Calos, good morning. Greg Sinugbohan, uh, morning Sir Lloyd. Any insights po kay SMC, PCOR, we talked about these already. Uh, Rodrigo, Sir, now po. Uy, si now, kamustahin natin si now. Para maganda yung possession ni now. Eh. We talked, I checked out now. Nag-bounce naman si MA20, si now. And then we have this uptrend line right here, our market, our market thread. So yeah, now looks good, right? You can use MA20 as your support. And if it goes down, just do cut loss lang, right? Uh, for now, right? So still looking well. So nga lang, lakas ng resistance din now eh, dito. So kind of shaky kay now, right? 3.78. Uh, I can't recommend it as of the moment, but... Yes, you you have the uptrend right there. Price action is there. Volumes. This is backed up by volume. So yeah, pwede, pwede. Pwede naman si now. Right? So, you just use MA. Make sure you use MA20. Right? Uh, Ambo Books. Ambo Books. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. X and food po. Si food naman. Looking good naman si food. Right? So, food is there. Hindi nga lang nagsustain yung MA20. I mean, bumalik siya sa MA20 niya. Can't really tell as of the moment. Kind of shaky already. Si food. I really want it to stabilize. Usually, this is a red flag for me kasi eh. Baka bumaba eh. Diba? But if it sustains today, and then yes, you can buy that. And then you, anyways, you have a support right here. So, you can do that. Right? Maganda naman talaga si food as a company. Uh, Junel Villanueva, good morning Sir Lloyd. From St. Martin, Caribbean. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Mike, good morning Sir Lloyd. Um, Okay po ba si DMC? Maganda naman si DMC na company. Uh, right now nga lang, uh, Nagbobol yung Japan trigger sa baba, usually red flag sa akin to. Let's see if this main support right here is gonna sustain. So hopefully that sustains. But this one right here, atong support na ito. So hopefully this one sustains. Raquel, nasa Sito. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. And to my son who is eating breakfast right now. Good morning sa inyo, Raquel. Rex Rosales, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Any insights po kay ABBA and food? Si ABBA... Um, ang iniintay ng mga tao dyan is uh, dividends na lang. Pag nag-dividends na yan, lalabas na yung mga tao dyan. For sure, malaki yung dividends ni Abang. Ang problema lang, we don't know when the dividend is gonna come. Right, so food naman. We talked about food already. Leo Bad, good morning sir. SMC, Primex. Yan, si Primex, hindi natin na silip today. It's 9.22, so bilisan ko lang po ito. Uy, si Primex still sustaining the support. So by as long as the support holds for Primex, right? So the support is there naman. It's still sustaining, right? 
So, Primex is still good. I'm just waiting for it to go green before I want to recommend it again. To go po, we talked about that. STV Trader, good morning sir. Kung ang share ng ISM is 2 billion today, kung magiging 75 billion shares, bababa ang price per share. Thanks. Um, tricky pe, right? I don't really follow that. Kasi tingnan nyo lang na, I, this is my explanation, right? You're, you're focusing too much on the value of the company and you're not focusing on the future growth of the company. The stock market doesn't really work like that. Tingnan nyo po, a living testament is Jollibee. Magkano ba ang value ni Jollibee? Jollibee's value is just around 40 pesos but it's trading at 323 pesos. So it doesn't really follow. It's about the demand. And look at the projects of S uh, of, of ISM, of Udena, right? So yun lang mga projects na yan. It should be enough to uh, to gather investors. So don't really, I don't really follow those price price na yan, yung mga book value na yan, right? Kasi it doesn't really follow all the time, right? Tingnan nyo, si IRC, magkano ba ang book value ni IRC? Mura si IRC, di ba? Kasi book value niya nasa 6 pesos. But right now, how much are, is IRC? Hirap pa nga umakyat, di ba? Book value ni Jollibee, 40 pesos. Pero look at how much the, the stock is trading. So it doesn't really follow that. Right? So we can't really tell. No one can tell. No one can predict the market. Right? So Leo Abad, ang, actually ang kinatatakutan ng karamihan ngayon kay, kay, ano, kay, kay, kay ISM is matutuloy ba yung backdoor. So if matuloy yung backdoor, uh, all, all cylinders go na yan. If bumaba man, let it go down. Matutuwa ako kasi may pera ako ngayon. I have money right now and I'm planning ISM for long term. This will be my opportunity to buy more. But a problem is what if it doesn't go down? Ang tendency, mabibili ko siya mas, mat mas mataas na tuloy kasi hindi ko pumasok ngayon. Diba? So that's the problem. That's the dilemma right there. So I will strongly recommend just test buy kay ISM. Just in case it goes down, at least may pera kayo to average down. You know for sure that's gonna go up. Right, uh, Leo Abad, good morning, sir. SMC Primex to go. Yeah, um, 3D Print Wiz, good morning, sir. Web, we talked about that already. Irene Carino, uh, morning, sir. Lord, have a blessed Monday. Damit ko po natutunan dito sa daily grind. Thank you and more power. Thank you so much, Irene. I'm glad you're learning. Hafa Aday, good morning, sir. Lloyd from Macau. Good morning, sir. Nerd Nerdpeck, good morning, sir. De uh, sir, PIP, SSI, thanks. Right, PIPs and my recommendations, SSI, mataas na. Henry Villanueva, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Newbie here from Iligan, learning pa po. Alright, that's good to know. Right, um, just keep on watching the Daily Grind in my previous videos. and dami pong previous videos. You can learn from those. Uh, <laughs> right, Ido Almo, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Pasuyo po na ECP. Right, it's ECP. It's 9.25, last lang ito, guys. ECP. Um, somehow, MA20 is sustaining, but we're seeing high, uh, lower highs. So, kind of shaky for me. For me, ACP is already overpriced. Uh, PCOR po and PIP, PCOR and PIP is on my recommendation. So, yan lang po muna for today. Pasensya na po if hindi ko po masagot lahat. But you can always join our Discord group. We have a Discord group right here. This is how it looks like. Download Discord first. This is our chat room. Nagtutulungan po ang mga tao dito. Minsan nagme-meet up pa nga ang mga tao dito. Especially po yung mga magkakalapit. We have a room for Middle East group. May mga Singapore traders. Uh, this is gonna be helpful for your traders lounge, investors lounge, charting discussions. If you need any charting discussions dito, nagtutulungan ang mga tao. Join the chat room if you're a newbie. This is gonna be very helpful sa inyo. This is all for free, right? Just look at the video description dun sa baba. Alright, manjan po yung invite link ng Discord group. Join that. That's it for today. Market's looking well. Nag breakout po tayo. Alright, 52 week high ang PSEI. Alright, so you can be aggressive, especially in stocks na nasa support. I will recommend that. It's good to bottom pick in these kinds of this condition of the market. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about. Ano nga ba yung sinulat ko? Darvas box. We're going to be talking about Darvas box tomorrow. That's a technical analysis guide. So let's see. I'll see you tomorrow. Abangan niyo po yan. Let's get rich together. Bye everyone. Oh.